we put this program on, uh, announced this on Facebook, and immediately got a bunch of questions uh, about a particular issue. I'd like to read you one of the questions we got from, from Facebook today. Please ask Mr. Ackerson why GM funds the Heartland Institute, a group that has tried to push misinformation about climate change into our public schools. Is this funding consistent with their company's message and marketing of, of the Chevy Volt? Well, I actually am glad you asked me that. Uh, I wasn't aware of this until the last day or so. Uh, a couple things in terms of good governance. I cannot sit on the foundation's board or steer anything because you're saying it was the General Motors Foundation that gave the money to this institute? Yeah, okay. yeah not the company. Um, let me say another fact. The first time I was interviewed by the press, I was stunned with the following reaction. Some guy says, do you believe in global warming? And I said, well, yeah, I do. Uh, several GM executives said, you don't say that in public. Well, <laughs> this may surprise you. My underwear doesn't have GM stamped on it. And I am an individual, and I do have my own convictions, and it may sometimes they they agree and sometimes they don't. Uh, I think it's actually healthy to have different points of view and perspectives around the table. Um, let's talk about, I always say actions matter more than words. So um, just last week, the EPA named us their star energy provider because of consistent reduction of emissions controls. 60% of our plant, we are 60% more efficient in the use of fuel than we were just five years ago. Landfill usage coming off of our plants is essentially zero. You can put it in a coffee can. That's how we're trying to improve the, we have, we have plant, most of our plants, we have some plants that are completely run off of landfill methane. They aren't, they're zero emissions mm. on our, and we have, we have plants that are the size of small farms, two, three hundred acres under one roof. Uh, we put $40 million behind the Chevy uh, program with the crews and said we would reduce 8 million metric tons of CO2 in this country in one year. And we've done it. We've, we've, bought, we've bought and paid for forest to be the size of the, city, the state of Connecticut. Uh, this is $15,000 that was committed to before I came in. Um, I also think the Heartland Institute, I'm told, is, does other things, and, and uh, I find this uh, interesting. I won't go any further, but I'll, I'm going to take another look at it when I get back to Detroit. I'll leave it at that.